Welcome Fenugreek Worlds of Geek. Today we are learning about quantum computers, which will help finance in the near future to achieve something extraordinary which is yet not possible by classical computing. So let's start. Quantum computers can help in finance by using their speed and power to perform calculations that are too difficult or time-consuming for classical computers. Quantum computers can also use quantum algorithms that are more efficient or accurate than classical ones. Some of the ways that quantum computers can help in finance are Number 1. Portfolio optimization, pricing, risk management, trading strategies Into portfolio optimization Quantum computers can help find the optimal allocation of assets in a portfolio, taking into account various factors such as risk, return, and constraints. Quantum computers can also handle larger and more diverse portfolios than classical computers. Into pricing module can help price complex financial instruments such as derivatives, options, and bonds by simulating their behavior and payoff under different scenarios. Quantum computers can also account for more variables and uncertainties than classical computers. Another is risk management. On this quantum computers can help assess and mitigate the risks of financial activities such as lending, investing, and trading by analyzing large amounts of data and performing stress tests and scenario analysis. Quantum computers can also help detect and prevent fraud and cyber attacks by using quantum cryptography and machine learning. The last one trading strategies. Into this topic. Quantum computers can help design and execute trading strategies that can exploit market inefficiencies and arbitrage opportunities by using quantum machine learning and optimization algorithms. Quantum computers can also help process and react to market data faster and more accurately than classical computers. These are some of the examples of how quantum computers can help in finance. However, quantum computing is still a developing field, and there are many challenges and limitations to overcome before it can be widely adopted and used in the financial industry.